I'm Peach, I'm a bookseller here at Lighthouse and a self-described poetry buff and I have a couple of recommendations here, um, two of them poetry books and two of them fiction books. Firstly I have Homie by Denez Smith. Um, Denez Smith is one of my favourite poets of all time and that was very much solidified by this newest collection. In this they've just, they've just kind of written about friendship and family both chosen and the one that you're born into and how friendship and family really are our saving grace in the hard times. I think the best thing about Danae Smith is that they always manage to write in a way that's so tangible and so relatable um, and in this they beautifully navigate a world that defines them solely by their race and queerness and diagnosis um, and how we fight back against such a such a violent world so that's that one it's um, a rallying cry and a reminder that the revolution really is based in friendship and in love next i have ada lemon's the carrying um and i love this collection um it feels like the poet is really having a conversation with you in every single one of the poems um, and I usually hate the idea that um, poetry is this kind of fiction that is almost non-fiction that it always has to be completely based in the poet's own truth and life um, and it feels like she plays with that in this which I really enjoy um, it's full of revelation and at times it's devastating um, but yeah it's very audible and tangible um she's the queen of description um and i really 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 enjoy it um it's got so much movement and so much playfulness about it but so vulnerable at the same time and then next i have two fiction books um and i don't really read much fiction i'm much more of a non-fiction and poetry person which myri tells me off about all the time um, but when I do read fiction, I like it to be absolutely harrowing and soul destroying. Um, so first up I have Die My Love by Ariana Harwitz and that's published by Charco Press, which is a small independent press based in Edinburgh that, that works in translating Latin American fiction into English. And this one, I think it might have been the first or one of the first ones that they brought out. Um, and it rattled me, like shook me to my core, um, which I loved. Um, and it follows a nameless woman um, and um, her battle with um, her mental health um, and motherhood and womanhood and the fact that she finds life so banal and horrible. Um, it's full of confusion and hallucinations and horror, really. Um, it is quite terrifying. It's, um, I suppose, a little like Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar. Um, and it is, yeah, it is terrifying, um, but I really enjoyed it. So. And then next I have Tender as the Flesh by Augustina Basterga, um, which is very new, very recent, um, and it's a bit dystopian. And essentially, the plot is about like a almost government conspiracy for eating human flesh. Um, and yeah, so it follows um, the main character Marcos, who is in the business of butchering human flesh um, but he's not allowed to call it that and it's essentially about his breakdown in this kind of like Orwellian double think of understanding what is really happening but never being able to speak about it and yeah it is um, at times truly disgusting um, but mostly um, written quite beautifully in a really harrowing way so I really enjoyed that too.